The TSA was created to protect our nation's transportation system in the wake of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. As we approach the 10th anniversary of those attacks, big changes could be coming to airport security. Naja Sherman has the new details. The head of Homeland Security says the biggest difference could be you won't have to take off your shoes. For frequent flyers, it's a planned process. The laptop's got to come out. You always wear shoes that slip on and off. But I wear a lot of sundresses, travel friendly. Keisha Goley leaves plenty of time. I think my theory is if, you, if your plane leaves at 12, you get here at 10. And Eric Schindler can get his shoes off in seconds. Just a foot and a, and a finger. But after years of turning the process of flying into, well, more of a science, government officials say in the future, travelers can expect that snail pace of security to speed up. Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano announced government officials are, quote, moving towards an intelligence approach to how we screen. And one of the first things you will see over time is the ability to keep your shoes on. I think that that's great because, you know, I'm the type of person I don't like to put my feet on somebody else's floor. So I think that, that I think that's great. But Eric is more skeptical. I, it worries me just a little bit because I think that there'll be something else coming in its place. You know, I mean, it'll be, you know, m leave your shoes on, but, but spend more time in a scanner or something. Napolitano says it could be years before the technology is in place, but no matter what it is, passengers for the most part agree. They'll do whatever it takes to keep the sky safe. The TSA will begin testing the program this fall with a small number of travelers who volunteer personal information, but it could be years before it's used on all passengers. Naja Sherman, NBC Action News. Across the